you convert your regular image png jpeg into uh, a vector image the background will not be transparent even if it was transparent before even if it was in png the background was transparent once you convert that into vector it will not stay transparent let me show you what i mean here so i'm going to place an image i'm going to go to file place an image so I'm going to choose this cute little boy right here. Here you go. And uh, all right. So I'm going to convert that into vector, right? Let's go. So as always, so click on window and then click the image trace to open the image trace window. And for best results, I'm going to choose high fidelity photo. Make sure it's clean and crisp. Okay. And depending on the speed of your computer, and the size of the image it should take around 20 seconds okay all right my image is now in vector format so you think that this uh, this image you might think that at first that the background is transparent but it is not it is not you see this whole white area right here this is all fake uh, it actually makes it this way so that it looks better but in reality it's a transparent uh, grid right here and within this area of your image that I, that I just converted into vector, the background is actually white. Let me show you what I mean. So if I click on view and then click on show transparency grid, and the keyboard shortcut for that is shift control D for Windows or shift command D for Mac. All right, so you see, so this is what's really going on behind the scenes. So if I were to export this whole this whole image here, this is what I will see. Uh, even in PNG for my background transparency, in the end, this is how it will turn out to be. So in reality, with this part, the background is not transparent. So it's a real issue. So now let me show you how to fix this. Really easy. So to do that, you're going to click on the direct selection tool and click on the image and then click on expand or you can click on object and then click on expand right here and then expand it all right so now click away from the image and from there click on the background sometimes the whole background will be selected so click in the background and look what happens when I press delete boom gone boom gone boom gone you see gone gone 